Welcome to this demonstration showing Kinetica analyzing geospatial data on a massive scale. This demonstration is based on an insurance analysis scenario and is derived from some work we've been doing with a few different customers, including two different reinsurers, two insurance companies, and a couple of banks as well. The use case reflects a common requirement that we're seeing in terms of looking at risk from a variety of different dimensions, including geospatial and time series. And so in this demonstration, we have two different use cases, a very detailed granular view that we're going to look at first, and then I'll show an aggregated view of the same data. So we started with a, a generated and anonymized insurance portfolio uh, data set containing actually 86 million different data points. Looking at the map, these dots represent policyholders. And if we click on the dots, we'll see information like coverage amount, whether the policyholder has flood insurance, the line of business, if it's a commercial account, number of rooms, stories, type of construction, that, that sort of thing. These factors or characteristics all go into determining risk for each policy. Hurricane Harvey was a pretty significant uh, outlier event, and so we obtained this um, uh, flood inundation data from FEMA of that event. Let me just turn that, that layer on. And this data is uh, the, the, the detail in the geospatial, here let me turn down the data points so we can see it, um, it is really quite, quite high. It's very detailed. There's a lot of detail um, in this. And um, what we see here is the areas that experience flooding. And we can see as we zoom in that the outlines are, are very, very detailed. And as we zoom in on a section of the map, and let me just sort of re-enable some of these data points, we can get a sense of just how complex it might be to join this ge geospatial data against my policy holders to drive a risk assessment. It actually turns out to be a pretty significant computational challenge. In fact, we've talked to insurance customers that have anywhere from five to 45 million policy holders running this exact same analysis. And they report that on a traditional platform, this type of analysis can take anywhere from four to six hours and on the higher end, two or three days. And at Kinetic, we've actually run multiple iterations of this scenario and have been able to complete the analysis on an 86 million record policyholder uh, set in about 4.5 seconds. So obviously this was a result of some tuning, but the difference in terms of improvement that's possible is, is very impressive. So we begin to understand just uh, the computing, just computing which policyholders fall within a flood event is, is a complex task in itself. But it's when we start to explore the data in real time that the power of Kinetic, I think, really becomes apparent. So let's say that I wanted to come in here and isolate a particular area for assessment, you know, either to predict uh, potential losses or begin mitigation efforts. Maybe I just want to create an area around these, these roads right here. So I'll draw a polygon around an area on the map, and I can instantly see how many policies are affected and how they're distributed in terms of policy amounts. And what's more interesting is that we can come up here and add additional filters to this spatial filter to hone in on areas of interest without having to reorganize the data or anything. The dashboard itself is designed to show different ways that we can slice and dice and interrogate the data in a way that an insurer might find of interest. So for example, I can filter the data by line of business, right? And, and come in here and choose, uh, let's go with um, individual and, um, you know, or number of stories. So we could say, you know, frame and maybe three stories. Um, and I can filter down by construction type and also um, just include policies that include uh, flood coverage, right? So this gives me a filtered view that I can use to understand which policy holders are at risk based on these rating factors. So being able to interrogate this volume of data in such a seamless fashion is really important to the financial and insurance industries because they'll take this data and then maybe run some additional analysis, segment the, uh, um, the territory, maybe have an area manager go out and do outreach to process claims or look at different coverage options for 
events in the future. The real Connecticut difference here that we're seeing is that uh, it's a simple and seamless experience, right? Using one product instead of assembling three to five different components, you know, a GIS vendor and a, and a database and a web server and something to visualize the maps and a front end to do the charts. Um, programming at Connecticut, we can do all of this using our single platform. Let me switch over to the uh, aggregate view. So this is a, looking at a different view of the data. We've uh, um, taken the, the data and aggregated it up to the county level. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. And this is useful because a lot of insurance companies may want to aggregate the uh, impact analysis at that level. And it lets them see if the risk occurs often enough within a given area or market. So on this dashboard, uh, the top graph here shows potential losses separated by residential and commercial by county. And on the map, we can now see the potential losses um, aggregated by county. And down below this chart right down here on the left, um, we can see that Harris County, uh, which we know is one of the hardest hit areas, has by far the largest amount of potential loss, right? But insurance companies don't really want to do that. They don't want to have a knee-jerk reaction to a single event. And they want to look at an event horizon of anywhere from 5 to 20 years and have an idea of what the likelihood of this type of an event happening again within a particular market is. So on this chart on the bottom right, we see um, average annual losses over several years by county. And we can see that like Harris County doesn't even appear in the top 15 or 20 counties for these kinds of losses. So this lets us know that over the long term, we're actually better off continuing to write policies in Harris County because <clears throat> it has an acceptable amount of risk compared to the other areas. So while every company that takes on risk has its own you know, computations and formulas and methods to compute their risk exposure, what we've seen in this demo, of course, is the ability to interrogate these extremely large data sets um, that are joined in a very complex geospatial uh, way in near real time. The ability to slice that data in multiple concurrent ways without having to repartition or reprocess the data. Um, a really integrated seamless experience, including GPU accelerated geospatial processing, which allowed me to zoom and scroll in real time. And the ability to do all this using one product and one technology stack instead of having to assemble a collection of components from different vendors. So the fact that the Kinetica platform can produce analytical results in seconds versus hours or longer means that insurers can now consider the possibility of doing real-time risk projections during a catastrophic event, being able to take preventative action based on predictive models. It also means that organizations can produce better business outcomes by just having the ability to run through more iterations of the models and handle more data and more complexity than ever before. So that's it for this demo. I appreciate your attention and thanks for watching.